In this video, I'm going to go over the getENV function in C. So the getENV function will return the value for an environment variable. Environment variables are often used by programs to configure exactly how they're going to run. So for example, I've got an environment variable here called logdir. And this has a directory as its value, slash app slash logs. The idea is that my program could read this environment variable and use it to determine where to write its log files to. Now the end user of my program could configure it by modifying this environment variable to have those log files written to a different directory. So that's the basic idea. Let's actually use get env now. The first thing I'm gonna do is include stdlib.h because that's a library where the function is defined. And calling the function looks like this. We'll just say get env and then we'll give a string with the name of our environment variable. So here we'll say log dir. And what the function is gonna return is a pointer to a string. So here we'll say car star log dir is equal to the return value of this function. So get env is gonna go get a string that has the value of this environment variable, and it's gonna return a pointer to that string. And then we can just print out the string. So here I'll say printf log dir, and then I'll output the string. And we'll say here log dir, and we'll use the pointer to that string there to actually output this log dir value. So we'll save this here, and then we'll compile it, and then we'll run it, and we should get that log dir is set to slash app slash logs. So we could then use this value in our program to set the log directory where we're gonna write our log files to. And if our end user changed the environment variable, they could change it to write to a new directory. So that's how to use the get env function in C to get at the value of an environment variable. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.